hello students in this lecture we will consider the basic postulates of quantum mechanics as you know we have discussed heisenberg's uncertainty relation and uh, construction of the wave packet or the pulse corresponding to the particle of energy e and momentum p <clears throat> at the same time we have also uh, or designated our uh, quantum mechanical operators corresponding to the uh, operation or measurement in the lab of the physical variables now as a basis of quantum mechanics the fundamental postulates are put together here in this lecture the first one is each of the state each of the state of a each state sorry each state of a physical system is represented by a state vector in the hilbert space so physical state is designated by say cat in the dirac notation so cat phi the state is normalized then <coughs> bra phi cat phi is equal to in the integral representation is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity phi star x phi x dx and it is normalized to 1 so it is equal to 1 as we have seen earlier that this wave function should be square integrable therefore the finite integral exists and if we normalize it to 1 then the integral is 1 so this is this thing unless they are square integrable and the value of the integral is finite and positive we cannot assign with it the probability density concept the second postulate is if the state of the system is phi cat then bra cat psi phi represents the quantum probability amplitude and this phi psi whole square magnitude represents the quantum probability density of finding a system in phi when it was primarily in in psi when it was primarily in phi state so probability of finding probability density of finding finding a system in psi state when it was previously initially in phi state that is given by bracket phi psi magnitude square that is the second basic postulate of our quantum mechanics the third thing is to every physical variable there is a corresponding operator in the hilbert space and this operator is hermitian and linear if you remember in the last lecture we said that any physical quantity that is variable that is measurable that is observable corresponding to that there might be a, 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 a operation a mathematical operation which uh, which uh, symbolizes uh, how it was measured in the laboratory this whole thing is called operator in mathematical notation and this mathematical operation belongs to a particular hilbert space where your wave 
<coughs> wave function or the state function state vectors are uh, are there and this operator is of hermitian property and linear so these are linear and hermitian operators meaning thereby that h dagger is equal to h this is called if a, then the h operator is called hermitian and linear means an operator uh, uh, op operator uh, gives us the result and then we can uh, we can uh, we can operate to uh, uh, if there is a combination of uh, different states then this linear operator operates on each one of them and like that so that means uh, there is a, if there is a general state and that general state is composed of uh, by the composed or constructed by the superposition of several eigenstates with different intensity or with different probability then this li or this linear operator will act on each upon each of each of the state now the fourth basic postulate is that the position and the momentum operators obey canonical commutation relation commutation relation means a b minus b a that is the if we interchange them if we, uh, their position the sequence and then they operate on a state vector then what is the multiplication factor or complex uh, quantity that we get out of it that is the <clears throat> that is the point so x cap comma p cap and then this is a uh, uh, commutation uh, is equal to iota h cross this is the same way this is another way sorry this alternate way or another way of saying that the two conjugate variables they cannot be measured simultaneously with arbitrary precision if we take the commutation of them then it will not be zero when two operators or two variables are are commutable then they can be measured with precision simultaneously because their commutation relation is zero and if they are not then they cannot be measured because this uh, value of this commutation is non-zero <coughs> therefore we can say that therefore we can say that we have a relation uh, sigma x sigma p that is uncertainty in x and sigma p is uncertainty in momentum this product is always greater than or equal to h cross by 2 and similarly uh, sigma e and sigma t star product is always greater than h cross 2 so there is a uncertainty product of position and momentum which is greater than h cross 2 and uncertainty uh, product of energy and time is also always greater than h cross 2 in quantum mechanical measurements due to quantum fluctuation of the dynamical variables involved but remember t is not a dynamical variable t is simply a parameter in quantum mechanics except that all other things are dynamical variables which suffer from quantum fluctuations that's all thank you